Welcome to Cutting Edge Radio Network, home of Good Talk Radio and many other shows. If you're interested in getting your show syndicated or your podcast syndicated, then this is the video for you. Please take the time to go through this whole video to be successful in getting your show syndicated. Hello everyone, I'm Rob Scribner and I'm the owner of Cutting Edge Radio Network and also Good Talk Radio. We also have some other shows like Good Old Radio and several podcasts that we do. And I want to take the time on this video, which I think is so important, for those of you that have a show that you want to get syndicated on a radio station. And I'm actually kind of creating this video out of frustration a little bit. Because uh, the way we get approached is amazing. Um, some people that contact us, they'll say, hey, I want to be on Good Talk Radio. And they are just truly amazing and humble. And then others get on with a real attitude. And uh, it's like they're doing us a favor. And that's not how it works. I'll tell you that right now. A radio station takes a lot to maintain. A radio station requires licensing a lot of times. A radio station re requires people to load your files and organize the radio station. A radio station takes the time to promote the shows that we're running, which means we help advertise for you. Radio stations are also allow you to make promos for yourself and put them, in most cases, and put them on the same station. Uh, good examples of that is we have a show called uh, uh, Pop Culture. Uh, they'll make their own promos and actually make a commercial. It sounds like they're on Good Talk Radio and put an emphasis on the time that they play on Good Talk Radio. So, what's my beef? <laughs> Well, first of all, I know getting syndicated is exciting. You got a show you've been doing for a while, you got it down to a pat, and you're just like, I want to get expanded out to other radio stations. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of the things I bring up with us is true for other radio stations. Uh, if not, it's still good to contact them. But I can tell you right now, when you contact us, don't, I mean, you can say you I'll get on Facebook, look into our um, messages, and I'll just get these notes with no explanation. Or, Can you put my podcast on your show or on your station? And first question is, what podcast? What, what podcast are you talking about? Or here's the link to my podcast. Please indicate us. Are you getting the gist of this? So... Let's say you're a radio station owner and someone does that to you. Uh, I'd be darned if, if I want to get on that note and go, okay, <laughs> same old questions. What's the link to your site? How long is your show? Uh, how often do you do the show? And most of all, and here's the biggest question, what can you do for us? Now, not and especially in internet radio, not everything requires money. Sometimes it's just most of the time it's support for one another. The thing that we do different is instead of relying on links sometimes or banners from you guys, we actually make our own dog product. It's called a Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, and a lot of our syndications will actually run our commercials. And boy, we are so grateful when they do that. Why? Because if we sell some of those, it helps pay for the radio station. Because if you're not paying us, and your advertisers aren't paying us, who's paying for our stuff? Us. That's who's paying for it. So, when you approach a radio station, go with the attitude of, I have a great show I want to share. And I, you're not doing me a favor or our radio station a favor because you decided to syndicate with us. No, 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 no. You need to shake that off right now. What we're looking for and what other radio stations are looking for is some type of 
partnership. Some pay, some do uh, special things. We have like a show called Tom Gully. For example, he's one of my model syndications. Um, he is very supportive, puts our banner on his show, and actually <laughs> does live reads for our Ranger Rob poopy bags. That's the max. That's the greatest thing he's ever done for us. And yes, he has affected our sales. So when you approach me or Good Talk Radio or Cutting Edge Radio Network, you need to say, I would like to be syndicated on your radio station. Our show is about whatever it's about. Here's some links to hear our show. In return, we would be happy to do promos for you, do commercials for you, put your banner on our website, or do shout outs, or run some of your commercials, or put you on our Facebook event page, and tell the radio station what you're going to try to do for them. Because the radio station obviously is going to be advertising you because we want them to listen to our radio station. So we will be promoting your show. We will be telling people your show is on at a certain time. You're going to be on our schedule. And we always post on our website all the shows that we do run. Because we think it's important that if you have a good show, we schedule you well. And we send out to our listeners any new shows we have and then we continue reminding them over and over because repetitiveness is important. The next thing is if you're new and have a show and you say yeah we do a show on let's say prepping and I'll and why you don't tell me this in the first place is how long is your show? So you need to say, well, my show is a half hour. My show is an hour. It's a two-hour show, and we do it weekly. You make that clear right off the bat. Why? Because radio stations have a schedule. We use software. We program your shows into the software. It's critical that your show is consistent. If it's not, it will mess up our software, and not be fair to the show that's coming before you or after you. Actually, after you. If you run late, their show runs late. And that's just plain old rude. So if you're going to have a radio a show, and, and if you're turning your podcast into a show, and you say it's an hour long, you should do like 58 minutes, 59 minutes. To give us time to identify our station, to run our jingles and run our commercials. Why? Because that's how we pay for this radio station. If you cannot be consistent on your schedule, your time, don't bother asking to be syndicated. We'd love to have you syndicated. We'd love to. But if you can't do your shows consistently, it's not hard to do. I've been doing radio shows forever. And it's so easy to get into in timing mode, knowing that your time is almost up. You can't make exceptions to go, oh, I'm sorry, we're going to be a minute over. Oh, well. Oh, well means we don't give a crap about your radio station. Sorry. And pretty soon we'll go, well, we can see you don't give a crap about a radio station. We're dropping you. I know this sounds harsh, but we're actually very excited to have you on. But you have to step up. Introduce yourself. Tell us about your show. How long is your show? Will your show be an hour long? Then will it always be an hour long? Do you ever run late? Do you, uh, If you are sick and can't do a show, would you take the time to contact us and say, I don't have a show this week. I had the flu. No biggie. We'll run a backup of a show you did prior. No big deal. It's a partnership. We want your show to be successful. We need our radio station to be successful. This advice is gold. If you want to contact radio stations and be syndicated, 
Mark my word. Answer these questions for them before the don't make them ask you questions. Because they're going to ask you the same thing. How long is your show? How often do you do your show? How consistent are your show? Do you run commercials or don't you? Can you do shout outs for us? What can you can you put our banners on your website? Can you cross link? Can you sell our product? Answer those questions in the very first email. And then next of all, have graphics ready. It's like, all right, we might run your show. Can you send me your logo? Can you send me a graphic? And also tell them what the links are to find your show. If it's, you may send just one link from the hear your show, but you might be in several different locations. Your front page, your YouTube, your radio station or podcast where you're broadcasting. And then most of all, how do we get your files? And please don't send us the wrong kind of files. They have to be MP3s, preferably 128. And how are you going to get them to me and how easy is it? Don't make me work to go find your files. Make it easy. Tell me where the files are. Send the files. Remind, and by the way, with us, we have a lot of shows. And we could literally forget to load your next show. So sending an email like Dropbox and send reminders to us that, hey, uh, Mr. Prepper's show, uh, Dropbox, has a new file in it. It tells us right away, oh, I better go in there and get it. I still have problems with people that uh, have shows with us, and I have no idea that they've loaded new files, and I've forgotten. Do we have a checklist? Kind of. We're swamped. So make it easy for us to run your shows. We're not working for you. We're working with you. So hopefully with a show like this, we can get you started right off the bat. Approach us. Don't be scared. Just be informative. Don't make us ask questions of the basics. Be ready and be willing that if you're going to, I've had people, I've, I've actually approached shows I've liked and they were inconsistent in time. And I've literally contacted and said, hey, we, we'd like to syndicate you. And I've had people tell me, I, I told them that they have to be a set time every time. And they like the freedom of not having set time and talk as long as they want and have turned us down. And that's okay. Because I certainly don't want to fight with them every week saying, your show's over. I can't run these files. So if you want to be syndicated, these are the important things you need to keep in mind. You have to do these things, not half-ass. You need to, if you decide to go syndication, you decide to be put on other radio stations, you have to do this. Or don't bother. There is no exceptions to it. If there is, I'm not aware of them. Now, don't be surprised. The bigger they are, the harder they are to get in. But don't be stupid. I don't know how many times I'm contacted about a show. I never get back with them. Because I'll get these little emails. I have a show about... Basket weaving. Here's my link. Can you uh, can we be on your station? And that's all I get. And that tells me they're not willing to put the work in to do anything right. I'm not even going to reply to that email. But when I get one that's like answering all of it and telling me what they're going to do for us too, man, I can't call them fast enough. And if you can, sometimes it's better to get on the phone with them. If they off offer a phone number for you to call, get on that phone. Because they may want to explain a few things. Tell them the philosophy of the radio station. If you get the privilege of saying, yes, please feel free to give us a call. Call. Be professional. Do not be arrogant. 
be humble, be informative, and understand they're looking for what you can do for them too. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. I hope for all those new shows out there that want to be syndicated, that this helps you. you. Do what I tell you, and your success rate will go way up. So thanks for listening, and I hope this has been helpful. Please give me your comments below, ask questions, and uh, feel free to um, contact us on Messenger. And uh, we'll try, and if you need us to expand with another video about how to get syndicated and, and some of the problems we have, um, let us know. Oh, and there's one more thing. Uh, you may be a show that have commercials. Make sure you have permission to run your commercials on their radio station. Or you may have to cut your radio station different. We allow you to play your commercials with us. Why? Because we feel that that's how you make your money. We do not mind airing your commercials. But guess what? When your show starts or could be broken in two, uh, we will be playing our commercials too. So uh, it's okay with us, but it's not okay with other stations. So you need to check that out too. So anyway, once again, got to go. Guys, thanks for listening. Hope this is helpful. Leave your comments. Talk to you later. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.